Okay, welcome to number 31. It has been a while since we have been here. This photo has been taken two years ago on this place. And today's sponsor is Atlas Copco again. Very thankful they have us again here. It's already the fourth time since 2018. Are we here? Who is the first time here? Okay, a lot of people. So Atlas Copco using C++ to drill holes like this one in two rocks. Pretty cool stuff. But we will hear a little bit more yeah. from Tobias, right? Yeah, For, after the intro. Um, C++ news? I have none. Sorry. Anyone has C++ news for us? No? Seriously not? Anything news? No? I, I have one. And it is actually on Reddit, but I don't want to bring it on the computer. And I found it on the way when we came here. Um, but I closed Reddit. <laughs> and I have no internet now here. So the, you can find itself. It's an open letter to the standard committee. And a guy, his, 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 his uh, GitHub avatar is graphic bot. So it's Rene Rivera. He's known here as also presentation on the internet, and he's, he suggested that uh, the C++ standard definition extends a little bit and take tooling also into the standard, because currently tooling is not part of the standard. So this is something I found uh, this morning, and maybe I'll show you after the break. So this is the only news. So if you don't have any news, then go to swedencpp.se. You have the, the latest events, the videos, C++ videos. There is a video feed. It's got more and more video sources, so that's good. And blog posts. Every day, three, four new blog posts. So since you don't have news, obviously you don't visit this page on a daily basis. Visit this page on a daily basis, then you stay up to date. Reddit is not so nice place. This is a nicer place. There are no comments. Um, yes, we will hear about this a little bit later. And upcoming meetups, that's a good question because I don't make the program for you. You make the program for yourself. So we need talks and I need a call for paper. And depending on what suggestions I get on, on topics and talks, when I have enough, then I can create the evening. We have enough uh, hosts that will host us, but we need talks. and. The situation is not as good as it has been, most likely because I haven't seen most people face to face and I couldn't talk them into talks. <laughs> so this is noticeable. But if you want to speak, uh, please let me know. I'm especially interested in beginner topics, topics for beginners that we also can invite uh, people new to C++. If you need an idea, then, then think about, for example, what should anybody have told me at the beginning of my C++ career? And make a 20 minutes, 30 minutes talks, and let me know when you're done. And you can stand here, it's awesome. And it's also a good way to, to get a, a C Lion license for free. JetBrain's still sponsoring our user group with C Lion uh, licenses. And usually when speakers want them, I give them to speakers. Um, yes, so now we come to today's program. So, I will talk again a little bit later, sorry for that you have to listen to me so long. Then Anna will talk about testing non-compiling code. Very interesting. And there, yeah, okay, you're And then we will have the, the uh, break and mingle. For your info, I will now always request uh, vegetarian food from our event hosts. If they do it or not, this is their decisions, but I will request it because I think it's better for the planet. It's also more of, it's, uh, Halal and kosher, usually mostly by default, so it's also more inclusive. And after our mingle, we will have uh, better with a longer talk. And that's it for today. So I pass now on to Tobias for a short uh, introduction of Atlas Copco.